Disney Iron Cook, and today's recipe is seared ahi. I'm in lovely Santa Barbara today to cook for you. Please like my channel, please comment, please subscribe, please share me, because I'm a very nice person, and I'm just trying to make my way in the world cooking with an iron. Please excuse my volume, I'm told I screech. I don't really mean to, I mean to be nice to your ears. We have to adjust the volume on the video settings. There is a reason I come to beautiful Santa Barbara. There's many reasons, in fact. One of them is to our target-rich environment for my dear friend Goldie. Goldie is a single fish. So the chain of events today was, I plugged in my iron at the Santa Barbara Harbor. I was able to score on free electricity, but then I saw the Harbor Patrol and I became very worried. Lucky me, no tickets today. I went to my local fish market. I needed to get super fresh ahi, you know, the kind that's sushi grated, because I don't want worms after I eat this dish. I ran into some dude at the fish market. He was kind of cute. Right. Are you married by chance? No, I'm not. Do you like to go to dinner parties? I do. I'm having a dinner party soon. Would you care to come? I'd like to. Okay, that's a yes. That's a yes. I got a yes. Well, nice to meet you. Uh, no, I do. <laughs> I think he's more demographic. He's in the target age range that I look for. He looks quite athletic. That's a good picture in a guy. Oh. I'm talking about you. <laughs> In the end, he was smiling and laughing, and I took that as a good sign. I got a nice, thick cut of meat. I'm looking to get some ahi. Do you have, like, sushi-grade ahi? It's like an inch and a half thick is what I need. The fattest, whitest piece you have. Let me see that. I think that looks really luscious. I love it. The ingredients for this dish are ahi. I need it fresh because it starts stinking like fish if it's not really fresh. Extra virgin olive oil. I have something to say about this. I will tell you later. White sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, black as night is best. Salt, seaweed salad for topping. Lemons, green onions, and cond condom. And, and, and I can't even say this without cracking up. Condiments, no, condiments, condiments, condoms, mints. Right, Goldie? <laughs> She's always lubricated. And foil, but not to be trusted. The damn thing just doesn't work. I try as I might all the time with every single method I could ever think of in my whole darn life, and the thing just doesn't work. It is not to be trusted. Never, no hell, never. Not even on your best day in your whole darn life. You cannot trust it. Not since 1947, not since 2016, or any other year on the planet since aluminum foil was manufactured and developed in some time in some century, somewhere, somehow. Huh. So there. For a very nice sear in your sushi and so it doesn't become medium done, you need it raw and red inside. You need to turn your iron on high. That would be linen on my iron. I need one big piece at two inches thick. It needed girth. With this extra virgin olive oil, <laughs> we need to coat our ahi with it. I really don't understand this extra virgin label. I don't really know anybody in my whole entire life that's been an extra virgin. I don't even think the Virgin Mary was extra virgin. I always thought it was kind of awkward at church when they were talking about virgins. The Virgin Mary, Virgin Mary, Virgin Mary, Virgin Mary. That's all they say is Virgin Mary when I'm at church. Well, I didn't know what that word meant. And it was very awkward when I asked people in the pew what that word virgin meant. I mean, it took me a long time to know. And finally some boy told me in high school. Well, olive oil is extra virgin. With a simple pressing of olives, it tastes like olives, and it's processed not using chemicals. I guess it's kind of like an extra virgin person. No chemicals involved. Or other processes. You know, to taint the virginity factor. And unlike Virgin Mary, I like to be shared. I like to have a good time when I'm cooking. I hope you do too. I like to cut the skin off. And there's a little black part there that is not advertising to me today. It's coming off too. Wow. That looks great. At some point with my chum, I might find chums. Oh, here they come. They know. They know. Oh, yeah. Those are. And generously seasoned with salt. I like salt. And flip it over. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And dip it in all that luscious, slippery oil. Tuna has very low fat in it. And I enjoy a little fat in my food because it provides me flavor. And you need two pieces of foil for the sear. Place your foil down, stick your iron on it. It's a windy day because it cause you trouble. And with all the coordination you have in life, you gotta get that fish on that foil. And we have lucked out today because that fish is in the shape of an iron and that always helps. I am concerned this foil will stick. Therefore, I'm adding more oil on it. 
oil, then foil. So check your iron and make sure it's super hot. And it's not. My iron's been on the fritz. Somebody please recommend a good brand of iron because for some reason it's not working anymore. I've been having issues. I, whatever, I cannot cook with a cold iron. You may need to check operations. Check it for hotness. Ouch, it's hot. Plus your iron firmly on top for the top down method of cooking with an iron. It will need to sear approximately two to three minutes, but you have to listen for the sizzle because when it's sizzling big, you gotta check it. You need to base this part of the recipe. You don't want it burnt, you want it seared. One of the most peaceful times when cooking with the iron is while it's cooking, you get to reflect. It is time for reflection time. I'm reflecting at the beautiful place I am today. It's a beautiful scenic day in lovely Santa Barbara. Today was a very beautiful day in the harbor. We saw people kayaking. We saw people enjoying the beautiful outdoors. We saw some very interesting boats today at the harbor. There's a lot of activity for this is a working harbor. It's very interesting to see what's going on. I enjoy the wildlife here at the harbor. I saw lots of birds today. Birds and fish just kind of go together. We saw people eating lunch. It made me hungry. I just had to start cooking with my iron. I think to win friends and influence people, you need to be friendly in life. My phone's not ringing, but that's nothing new. But my texts aren't going off either. I try not to take things personally. I'm not everybody's type. And it only takes one. I just want one. Can you hear that sizzle? I'm putting it out of the sheets. Oh wow, that's pretty hot down there. We got a sear. Add some more oil and then you need to flip. In order to minimize the mess, you need another piece of foil on top because that oil is just going to come streaming out. I swear to God, I know it's going to happen. I know it's going to leak out. Checkpoint, it did. See, that was a good method. We saved the mess. With your iron still on linen, now we sear the other side. I heard that instantly. That's a lot of sizzle. That's great. The iron's finally heated up. Sometimes you just need to keep going with that action, Jackson, to get it to the point of the sizzle. Please tell me if you're a new YouTube viewer to my iron cook, and I take requests. Comment to me, let me know. Denchem, and then sprinkle, and white ones too. Now that's black magic. Oh yeah, and then with foil down, we do the final sear. Voila, that's lightly toasted. Time to transfer. I want some lemon on it. Seaweed salad, green onions on top, bing. A little wasabi. Some soy sauce. Let's try it. With a little seaweed. If you've got an iron, you can make great dishes. Like seared ahi. He can twirl that seaweed like spaghetti. Mmm, that's delicious. Subscribe to my channel and let's keep making great things with an iron. Say bye bye, Goldie. Bye bye bye. <laughs> She's giving you fishy kisses and so am I.